Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Town. I'm going to be doing your July 11th through the 31st love reading. This is for Gemini. What do you have for Gemini for July 11th through the 31st, 2017 regarding love? I think your uh, atmosphere, you know, your uh, general being is going to be more calmer than it has been in the recent past. I think, you know, things have been really busy for you. And I think now things are starting to slow down and calm down for you. maybe just a little because it's, if you just listen to the weather right now I'm doing your reading right now it is um, July 11th at 9.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it is a beautiful calm night the energies are very um, at ease there's no heavy energy uh, looming around like there was a few days ago with the Capricorn full moon it's just very calm and at ease and this is when I'm doing your reading so we want to listen to all the messages and so I'm thinking that things are gonna calm down a bit for you huh. look at that beautiful card aha moment this is an aha moment. This is right about the beginning of this reading. So right around the... Could have already happened. All right. That's how, how quick it is. Um, this is your aha moment. I've had an, an awakening. I know what I need to do or I want to do. That's what this is. This is about making a choice. Um, because you're, you've been juggling. You know, you've been... It's been just a little bit too chaotic. All right, so maybe you're going to um, decide not to juggle as much. Still stuck. Look at that. That's beautiful. Looks like you are headed in a new direction, Gemini. You are. Your aha moment comes and you might decide to really let something go or drop a responsibility, okay? Because... You know, you just want a little bit more peace in your life, okay? Perhaps you're not happy here anymore. You're not happy being stuck, and you're ready to just get the hell out of there. Whatever it is that you are, that is keeping you wherever you are, perhaps, I don't think you want it anymore, all right? Because this is a new beginning. This is a love reading, mind you. This is a new partner, a new sexual partner. Could be a Scorpio. Um, could be anybody because we have this is just the beginning of the reading, but so far we have a Scorpio. But this is really a emphasizes a new beginning, brand new, a new phase. When you get this death card, it's not really about a literal death, it's about a ending, a major ending in something new beginning. Because when something dies, what's what's next? A rebirth, something new. Okay. New sexual partner. There's no doubt about it. A new sexual partner for you, Gemini. Woohoo. Um, wow. Perhaps you met them online or you're talking to them online. And it feels really, really good. You know? And it, it, maybe it's like it makes you feel um, hot. You know? Makes you feel sexy you know what I mean that's what I see I see a lot of sexual desire okay or sexual um, energy per se um, maybe you're gonna go someplace this summer 
Maybe you're going to go to meet this person or talk to this or get together with this person. When I say go somewhere, it doesn't have to be far. It can be far. It can be a trip. But I think, I mean, it can be as far as a coffee date, you know what I mean? Or something like that, you know, but I see that there's going to, there's something going on here. Um, and it's good. I mean, I'm sitting here smiling away. Um, you, it looks like you've, you've really taken some action. This is a lot of action here. So things have happened or they're still happening. They're still happening now. But I don't think it's it is as chaotic as it was last week. Okay, I don't. I think that things are starting to slow down because you are um, you're waking up. You know, you're taking action. You are you're creating your own destiny. You're not just sitting back waiting for somebody to do something. You're doing it. All right, um, and you're you're going after it with um, love. It feels like you are looking for love. Real love. It looks to me like you're looking for love, you know. And it could be love and, um, it could be love and, and sex. I mean, it could be both. I mean, it looks like it's, it's very, it's good, okay. Um, it could be with a water sign, Cancer, uh, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It could be with an air sign, could be with a fire sign. Either way, I see, I, I see a lot of passion, put it that way. Um, here we have some conflicts down here. This is towards the end of July now. We're getting towards the end, end of July. There's some kind of conflicts in every get-together, in every partnership, whether it takes three days or two weeks or whatnot. There's conflicts. It's just the way it is. It's a fact of life. Um, so when you see that card, don't be scared because it's just a fact of life. There's, there's conflicts. Um, and I think, but I think the conflicts are because somebody is still mentally stuck. Could be this other person. Somebody is still mentally stuck on something else. All right. This is about having all the resources. This is about, um, the power. Okay. You have the power and you have the, um, all the resources to attract whatever you want and you have you've been using it I mean you have all the resources mind body and spirit you you're not lacking for anything so that makes you very attractive okay um, I think that you have um, I think you're starting a new phase of your life hmm Look at that, it's still sitting there right on my hand. I see where that landed. There you are. I was waiting to see. This is a male or, or female. You know, it, it looks like you are going to be um, getting some love, getting some offers of love, perhaps from a water sign or somebody who acts like a water sign or who, or who has strong water signs in their chart. Um, it looks like th that you're good. You could be offered, you know, a new partnership with, with somebody that, you know, it's a strong indication that it's a water sign and it could lead to love. It could lead to love. Yeah, I think there's been some online um, interests, okay? Some online interest in some some very, um, I would say, if you had a cell phone, kind of like sexting, but you're doing it on the computer, you know what I'm saying? And it's really, um, it's big, okay? If it's not that, you know, that can be in real life. It can be in person. It doesn't have to be with a phone. It doesn't have to be over a computer. It can be a strong flirtatious side, you know what I mean? Or, you know, there's just a lot of pull, okay? A lot of attraction to somebody. Um, but there's conflicts and resistance towards the end of the month conflicts and resistance perhaps time maybe you maybe up here you know towards up here you you decide that yeah you know I'm gonna 
I'm going to go for this because I'm whatever, you know, horny. I'm just telling you how I see it. And I'm going to go for this. And um, you're ready. You're ready to go for this. And it turns into be more than you thought. You know, it really could be love, you know. So it's like, well, shit, this this really could be love. Um, because it's, it's there's such a strong pull. And you end up starting a new, a new journey. Um, with somebody that de could definitely happen. The thing that would be holding you back would be some inner conflicts between you or the other person. You know, it could be the other person has some conflicts that would um, inhibit it from happening. It could be, I mean, the true love that would delay it because of maybe they're worried about money or maybe they don't have, they think they don't have enough to offer or they don't want, or you or them, somebody doesn't want to share the, the goods. I mean, it's okay to share the other stuff, but the goods are mine. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not sure, sure. So that causes conflicts. That causes conflicts when one party doesn't really want to give it all. So that's what the conflicts are about towards the um, end of July. All right. So if this partner, it, it may, this person may have already come in or they may be coming in shortly. I would say that the top row is around the 11th through the 15th. And then we, you know, we go out like this would be the 19th and so on. Look at that. There's going to be a lot of passion. Holy camoly. And it's going to happen quick. It is going to happen quick. All right. Because I think you're going to go for what you want. I think you've had an aha moment. And all of a sudden you decide, you know what? I am going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. You know, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go for it without any fear of um, consequences or rejection. I think you're not worried about rejection at all. I think you're just going to go for it. Um, but you may be spending your time towards the end of the month. You know, up here you're 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 ready to go, and you're, you know, it's fun and it's great, and it really could be love. It really could be love. But then, you know, this is all happening, and as the world turns, and I've said this in a few readings, you know, through each day changes. So um, up here it's great. Perhaps there's some sex, and it's good, great, awesome. You could end up falling in love at the same time. So if you don't want that, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but um, down here, you know, there's a little bit of resistance. And I think the resistance is on purpose. I think it's because you might have, you have other obligations. You have other obligations that protect your security, that protect your abundance, that, you know, that you you have to go to work every day. You have to put your time into that, and you can't give your 100% to this relationship because, you know, you have other obligations. You know, that might cause a little bit of inner conflict, you know, of feeling stuck that you can't offer the love that, or be part of the love that you want to be because you have other obligations. Um, but I think you're going to go for what you want. I would like some clarity on the sun sign. Um, who is this person now? Who is this person now? The other person. The one that could be love. Let's clarify that, right? Who is this person that could be that could end up as love? There's a bug in here. I ain't too keen on those. There's more than one. I missed. Sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. I, I am who I am. Definitely could be a fire sign. You know, it could be. I mean, we have this fire sign here and here. And here. Okay, so uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could lead to your wishes being fulfilled. Like I said, it could be. It could lead to more than you think, put it that way. It could. 
no more hanging around waiting, okay? No more sacrificing. All right, because this goes right here over this power, over this uh, mind, body, and spirit. This is where you have your wake-up call, you know, same kind of thing. Maybe, maybe you do. Maybe you do need to make a sacrifice. Maybe, you, <laughs> look at this little head sticking out from under here, just looking at me. All right. And that's funny, as I was saying that, I looked down and saw that. Okay. He's saying, ha. Huh. Yes, but I have to earn my money. I have to focus on this. So maybe you have to sacrifice some of your time for to get your wishes fulfilled. Now this could be any sign. It could be a man or woman that acts like uh, this person. It could this person is creative, they are fun, they are fiery, they are sexual, they are um did I say creative already? They're confident, they're social. Um, they're open to exploring so it's anybody who acts like this or who, who are who has uh, a strong uh, fire in their chart mm, here you are Again, it's so prominent. I mean, you are so prominent in this reading. You're everywhere. So you are really, it's, this really shows that you have taken control of the situation and that you are doing something, that you know what to do and you are acting on it. You are so prominent here and your thoughts are clear and you are making a move because I think you have some wishes that need to be fulfilled. Now, you know what? Let's get some of these romance angel cards. Don't be afraid to communicate. Could lead to a lot more. More than you expect. You... <laughs> I think you've started a new journey and you don't even, I mean, maybe you do know it. I think you do know it. You started a new life journey, a new life phase. <laughs> and it looks to be beautiful. It does. I think it's great for you. It's been something you've been waiting for for a while. You have. You've been waiting for it and waiting for it and waiting for it. Oh, this is so true and it's right here over this person that you might have met online or you may have met at work you know or some it you know it doesn't really matter where you met them I see something about online for sure um, could be a dating site could be a game that you play I mean it could be at the library I doubt it though because this much sex people I mean do these kind of people go to the library <laughs> Maybe they do. I don't know. All right. I mean, I see a lot of sex here, and it's like passionate sex. Like, um, you know, dirty. <laughs> I am who I am. I'm sorry. I'm not going to control my mouth. So if you get upset, then just, just click uh, goodbye. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. It's true. I hear it. I see it. I feel it. Yes, sirree. Aha. Aha, the spark has been lit. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> okay, that works. That's good. If you, that's dangerous with all this passion. I'm telling you what. Yes, it is. I got these new sexual cards in the mail today. We're going to try them out. You're going to be the first one with all this energy. Who knows what's going to come out of my mouth. Let's see, I, d I didn't read the book because I don't have time for that. I just barely opened them and you guys are the lucky ones to get my first dibs on them. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. That's what you're going to do. That is what you're going to do. You want me to break out those cards? They weren't as dirty as I hoped. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna try looking again, but they're okay. <laughs> not that I'm a well apparently I am, so I'm not I'm just gonna be quiet. What do you got with this? What kind of what deck is this anyway? See, I bought it and I don't even know what it is. That's how confident I am. It's the on the floor next to my cigarettes that make me cough tarot tarot of sexual magic all right it's for you gemini i have complete faith in my guides angels and universe they do this for me every day all day all night all the time and people are very happy with it i have a few that are not but, you know, there's going to be people that don't like you wherever you go. So, I'm okay with that. I let them talk to me. And I listen. Alright, what are we going to get? Let's make sure these are good and shuffled. What do we have for Gemini? I did look at them. I looked at a few, like 20. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Just for you, Gemini. Oh, release. This is the death card. It's not too, I mean, that's kind of. Oh. There's the death card. That's release. You got it twice. Prominent. Prominent. This means that you are starting a new life. Something has ended. Something has ended. And this is releasing the past. That's your aha moment. I'm going to move on. It's a new journey for you. It is. Queen of Pentacles. This could be the one. This could be the one. This is the Queen of Pentacles. This is this so this would mean a male or a female. It's gonna go right here, right on top of you. Right on top of you. Male or female. We'll explain them in a minute. Oh, King of Pentacles. Imagine that. King of Pentacles. Probably is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Yep. And this is the Ace of Wands again. Beautiful. New sexual partner. You have it twice. I love it when that happens. There's new there's a lot of sex in your horizon. I don't care what anybody says, I'm sure of it. Passionate sex. I don't know, that girl looks pregnant to me. So watch out for that. <laughs> All right, so we have death. This is about releasing. You need to release the past. You're going to move in a new direction. Okay, that's your aha moment because you finally do release the past. You finally decide, you know what? I'm going to do something this summer. It's summertime. It's beautiful. I can't just sit in the house. I mean, what am I, what am I going to do? This isn't going to work for me. I don't want to be alone forever. You know, so you decide to make a move. You decide to communicate. Maybe with somebody you've been crushing on for a while now. You know, or it could be somebody that you just barely started crushing on and it happened so quick and all of a sudden the attraction is through the roof and it's time to get together. And when you do... Um, you better hope there's nobody around because, um, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and it could be with an earth sign. This is um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But we also, I think we have every sign here, so it really doesn't matter. It's going to be with whoever it is. Um, this person, these pentacles, and you have two of them right side by side. They're very grounded. They are stable. They are sensual they are um practical and they can take very good care of you 
it could definitely lead to love because they will take very good care of you um, in every aspect okay um, and then we here have this new sexual partner and we have it twice it's right over here where you start your new journey okay where you are you've decided okay I'm, I'm gonna run with this I'm going with it. I'm gonna take action because I'm ready I'm ready so And that's what I have for you. This is for the um, 11th through the 31st. You know, just the, I this reading is can be for like what 10,000, 20,000 people, however many people that watch it. So some of it may resonate, some of it may not. Maybe none of it will. It all depends. I mean, this is for the general audience. Okay, so if it doesn't resonate with you, it's because it. It just doesn't. I mean, I can't get it right for every person on the universe or every person that watches this video because we are all different and our free will comes into play um, immensely. So if it doesn't resonate with you, just check your moon sign or your rising sign or both. Or perhaps I'm just not the reader for you. Um, so I appreciate you watching my readings and commenting and liking and the bookings and the support I really appreciate that all that um, I think that you're gonna have a very um, hot end of July that's what I see good luck